right, so this is going to be an updated video on how to set up an aerometer tensiometer. I have a video I made. It was at our commercial grow. It was not age-restricted for the longest time, and then it became age-restricted, so it kind of limits who can see it. It's probably that dirty joke she slid in there. That wasn't even that dirty at all. It really wasn't that bad. And I already, that's already going to happen here. It's already going to happen here. So we're going to go through this process. Um, we've been, this is a bucket of water. Come see the water level. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, and we've been soaking the tip, just the tip, getting it wet for 24 hours. That's the first step of whether you have an LT or an SR. Is that the model? Mm -hmm. um, and so the rest of the process is now that we've soaked it, we need to fill this up. So you want to handle that? Me personally, I fill up the inside before I soak it too. It, and this is I, actually already filled. We just yeah, yeah, we cheated. We uh, this nervous. is already a setup barometer that we've been soaking. But instead of just pouring water into it, I mean, it's a tiny little hole and it'll create lots of air bubbles. So using a pipette makes it for sure the easiest way. It might be a little tedious in terms of, oh man, I got to get a million fucking pumps. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it truly is easiest in terms of mitigating the, the air bubbles. <laughs> yeah, more, more like a three pump. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty fast. So it's not bad. The alternative, though, if you don't have pipe ups laying around, is turn this thing really, 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 really sideways like this and slowly pour like that. But it's got to be super slow. It's got to be so slow. Because, man, it, it's a pain. Honestly, yeah. the pipette is the fastest way. By far. But you it, can, it, you it, can it, totally do it with the fastest. Is, is the fastest. Oh. And there's air bubbles. These yeah, see, the, these air bubbles he's now created for me. We got the whole point of this is to show them how to set it up. So now you get the air Our pipette out. truly is the easiest is. way. Uh, but once you filled it up, that is only half the battle. Like we've been talking about, getting these air bubbles. That's the battle. Yeah, it really is. It's not that hard of a battle. And while we're talking about it, I mean, it's nice to have that service unit. I guess you 100% don't need it. Your hand. Just not for our uses and yeah. what we do. Maybe there's mm -hmm. models that they have where that would be more beneficial, but I, I've used it one time. It was a pain in the ass, and ever since then, we just smack it. Yeah. Like Acon, basically. <laughs> you were doing this. Now that we've got it pretty much filled, you want to get it to, to the fill line. We're going to work on getting all these air bubbles from the starting from the bottom. So what you'll do is you'll just tap it, and it creates lots of fucking air bubbles, believe it or not. It's like a really shitty lava lamp. Yeah. It's Larry powered. Yeah. And then remember, after you filled up the air bubbles, obviously it's gonna lower this level. So you're gonna have to probably fill it up with a little bit more water. I'm just thinking about you sitting in the corner of a room as a lava lamp, <laughs> putting like food coloring in it, just smack it. All right, so I got pretty much That's all pretty the air bubbles. Then you have the air bubbles in the gauge here. So if you do it like this, they're just gonna stay up here. So you wanna point the gauge down and try and get the air bubbles out of that. If there are any, they'll, they'll come out if there are some. That's like the number one thing we see people have issues with is they set it up and they say it won't move or it's not working right and it's the air bubble in the there's, gauge always. I mean, it's hard for y'all to see probably, but there's a couple air bubbles in the gauge. It's too. literally all it takes is one. Usually you don't have a lot coming out. So I think that's probably good. Yep. So then here's the cap. Here's the cap, but remember, now that we've gotten all these air bubbles out, the fill line went way down. It did. So let's pretend we're gonna get it back to the fill line. Maybe not using a pipette at this portion would have been faster, thinking about let's it. Let's do it. Just say when. Scream that real loud. <laughs> that's good, that's all good. Right. I was totally uh, anti. I, I, it made me uncomfortable. I was I'm not going to my face. <laughs> so when you do put the cap on, you're going to twist it until it, you know you get some resistance and then just do a quarter turn from there. If you sit here just trying to hulk that cap, it, I mean, that'll also F things up. It'll lock it up. So yeah, it'll exactly. Work. And then a final little tip if you'll get closer, Gray. After it has been set up, every once in a while, an air bubble will form right here. And all you'll have to do is unscrew it. The air bubble will pop out. And then just re-screw it in. And that's, and I'll, I'll go back over it when we show you actually setting it up. But 
but yeah, that's that's what it'll be. All right, so here's how we're gonna actually set it up. Once you've filled up your aerometer, you've soaked it for 24 hours. Uh, we're just using this, you know, this bed that we have in the front of the store of for your little hello. But you're gonna take your aerometer and uh, put it at a slight angle. This is where you as a grower, I mean, be smooth with it. You don't want to put it at the back of your grow where it's really hard to see. So put it in an area where you can easily check it without having to walk through an entire forest. But you're going to just move your mulch layer and then put it in at a slight angle. Now I didn't notice I didn't put in the aerometer all the way and if you see the gauge it's, it move, it's moving immediately. Now I haven't watered this bed on purpose but you normally want to keep it between 10 and 15 and it'll probably move way above 15. So, so we need to water it. Okay, so now that we showed you just how to set it up, we want to go over a few things on how to use it and then one trick so you don't have to try to set it up and see if it works. You can actually just take it right out of your bucket of water once you do all of this setup. Um, and you can just... We have to shout that guy out. This dude... Yeah. We found this guy on Reddit, and he had the yeah, greatest Yeah, I cannot accent. think of his username. He's definitely oh, from the Northeast. Yeah, he's pretty cool. But Shouts if you out put a, if you ever watch If you video. put a paper towel on it, it literally drops down. Because mm. it's the the wetness, obviously, yeah. is going to the paper towel, so, so then it's pulling it from there. Keep on the gauge, Matthew, and then when you stick it back in here, boom. So now you can tell if it's working before you go to your beds or pots mm -hmm. or whatever. It's actually a pretty good idea. Yeah, I, I would have never thought about super it. super smooth. And I'm also, not that smart. Shout out to the accent. Yeah, that shit was amazing. It is amazing. But uh, other things to keep in mind is on the LT model, which is the most of what we sell. And if you're using it indoors in soilless media, that's what you're going to yeah, use. Yeah, LT is the blue tip. Yeah, blue tip. Uh, you keep it between 10 and 15. That works for us and our soils. There might be a different reading. You might want it a little higher, a little probably not lower. Maybe a little higher depending on your soil. I don't know. But for us, with our soils, that's what we do. I've had some people leave comments like, and sh like put research papers, this, this, or this. It works for us and our soils. That's the caveat. Yep. 10, and it 15. works for all of our customers. And then also the last little thing we would oh a couple more things we want to talk about. The 12 inch is for sure the most versatile. I mean, some people start out in a five gallon pot and then eventually they want the 30s or the four or four beds. Dude, I mean if you have a six inch and a four by four bed, yeah, I mean you could put this six inches deep. You don't really necessarily need the 18 inches because no one's That's putting that much. It's too deep. Yeah. But for real, the 12 inches is probably the most efficient one you can buy. That well, way you can read two different stable. levels. You can you, normally you're going to keep it at where a six inch would be, mm -hmm. but then if you want to go down further just to see what's going on, it should boom, be done, and you didn't have to spend another hundred and ten. Yeah, right. Or and then so. finally, through trial and error, because we ship these things everywhere, even we ship, international. Yeah, we ship internationally and uh, a lot of error. Yeah, the a obviously shipping companies throw shit around really hardcore. They don't care about your products like they say they do. Uh, but so we now ship these dismantled. Uh, the gauge comes, you know, as its own piece. The tip will be its own piece. The the cap will be its own piece, and then you'll just have the body. Uh, when you do assemble these, because we'll send you instructions. It's super easy. Just screw the shit in. But you don't. don't yeah. Don't grab the gauge to screw it in. Yeah, you want to screw it in over here. Yeah. But also, don't once you have set it up, don't unscrew it because this gauge it has like like this thread locker. Yeah, it's it's got this little adhesive on it. Yep. Uh, to make sure shit's not leaking through. Uh, and if you undo it, then yeah, you've now ruined that. And just whatever you do, you compromise your shit. Don't do this to set it up. You'll regret it and be called. Yeah, then it'll be all jacked up there too. Yeah. Gauge and we did so. All right, that's the wrap up. Um, if you got any questions, leave it in the comments. As always, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like this video, and then you can always come see us on Instagram. I haven't been doing a lot of regular posts, but I've been doing more stories. So nice. because it seems like three times the people look at them, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. All right, anyways, thanks for watching. This is Joe.